This is almost like the opposite of what one would think would be an intense physical role, but surprisingly it is. What were the physical demands like? When, when James offered me the part, I mean, when, or when we spoke on the phone, he's like, so how would you go about how would you go about doing this? And I, I was desperately trying to get the part at the time. And I, I sort of made up some, <laughs> some really faux confident. Well, this is how I'd go it's about it. Exactly. Actors, <laughs> doing this stuff to you. And I, I had no idea, basically. But we decided collectively to to go to a sort of old school model of having a team of people. Like James is a, an amazing sort of um, he loves collaboration in the, the truest sense. And so I'd, I'd work with in the physical sense, a, a dancer, a choreographer called Alex Reynolds, and she and I had spent months going to, to motor neuron disease ALS clinics and and really charting what, what the disease was. But she had also put me in touch with a very brilliant osteopath um, because actually getting out of it when you're in those sorts of positions for long periods of time, actually if you jump out of it, it does end up, um, it can end up sort of mess, messing with you a wee bit. But I tell you what, every day, whatever sort of pain you were in, leaving it, you got to leave it. You got to get out of the chair. And, and we all met so many people suffering from ALS, motor neuron disease, while we were making the film. And that just constantly stayed in our mind as a, a great freedom.